Hello guys, today I'm going to just be talking to you about a few things you should know about before you buy gerbils. So, um, here is my road to stack cage. Um, I have, I did build it up, build it up at the top first, but um, I discovered that actually gerbils can't climb up vertical tubes very well because they can distant, they can, um, they know, they can measure the distance of things. Um, and they're a bit scared of heights. So some of your jungles might be able to, but mine weren't able to, so I had to spread it out a bit. Um, a thing you should know is that gerbils do need um, their animals that naturally burrow, so they should have uh, deep um, sawdust. Um, it doesn't have to be that deep, it just looks quite deep there because mine have carried all of it over there because that's their bed. Um, when you give them bedding, I obviously haven't got a bedroom because they can't climb up. Um, I haven't got a house either, but don't worry if you don't because it was great if you just get a log, as what I've done, and put it into the corner and put some bedding behind there and that will be their bed. Another thing you should know about caring for um, gerbils and hamsters as well is that um, their water bottles need to be refilled every day because if the water goes stale it can make your gerbil ill, or hamster of course. So um, that's why I find the rotor stack water bottles are quite handy because you're not wasting much water because it's a very small water bottle. Another good thing is um, the feeding them. You they're not they don't you can't get you can't let them get fat because they move around quite a lot so they don't get fat easily. But if they do, it's not very good because they'll still want to move around, but you know it will make them a bit tired. So. Um, what you can do is, you, if you have a food bowl, that's fine, just make sure it's not plastic. Um, I'll explain why in a minute. But um, if you have a food bowl, make sure that you um, um, fill it up a little bit, but don't put their whole meal in there. You can just sprinkle it around um, the cage, because they have to forage for their food. It does give them something to do during the day. The reason why I say you shouldn't have anything plastic in there um, is because they are um, they chew everything in their cage so if you give them um, plastic they will chew through it which is why I say with um, rotor stack or any cage um, like habit trail um, if you have tunnels oh, sorry if you have tunnels um, like I've done just put one on but and a locker but otherwise, if you want to add lots of tunnels, um, building up and swervy tunnels around, I do suggest that you put um, metal, they could be plastic, but ideally metal because they won't chew through metal, um, um, ring guards so they can't chew through the tubes because you don't want them escaping. Every day you have to do um, a check on your gerbils. I'm not going to do that now, but um, I will do one soon of um, you have to check their health which is their eyes and tail so make sure you do that